Hello everyone. Today we will address the question, is there more than one version of the Haitian Creole? In a previous video, we discussed what makes St. Lucian Creole different from Haitian Creole. If you have not watched it, please check the description below for a video link. One of our viewers mentioned that within Haiti, folks from the North speak Haitian Creole differently from folks from the South. We thank this viewer for bringing that up. So in this video, we're going to explore that a bit more. Before we start, we would like to welcome you to Color My Culture. We're so glad you took a few minutes out of your day to hang out with us. If you've been here before, we want to thank you for your support and invite you to subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Let's get started. Haitian Creole, Creole Haitien, is a lively, beautiful, and colorful language. It is a French-based Creole language that is spoken in Haiti, parts of the United States, the Bahamas, Cayman Islands, Canada, Cuba, Dominican Republic, France, French Guyana, Guadeloupe, parts of the African continent, Martinique, Puerto Rico, and different parts of Central and South America. You get the point. So wherever you find a couple of Haitians, Haitian Creole is spoken. It is believed that there are between 10 and 12 million Haitian Creole speakers worldwide. To most Haitians, the language is simply called Creole. But in general, the language has been referred to as Haitian Creole, Haitian French Creole, Creole, or even Haitian. Now, I've seen people get offended when a person who is not Haitian asks them if they speak Haitian. It was interesting that among Creolists and linguists, the language Haitian Creole is also called Haitian as a way to differentiate it from Creole language like St. Lucian Creole or Creole from Martinique. Many Haitians explain Haitian Creole as a broken version of French. This is what they'll typically tell non-Haitian colleagues, non-Haitian co-workers, or anyone that's new to the language. Some people refer to Haitian Creole as a corrupt form of French. Others, most likely those of non-Haitian heritage, might go as far as describing Haitian Creole as a patois or dialect. Many linguists disagree. They state that Haitian Creole is simply a language governed by its own grammatical rules. So basically, it's a language. It's not a broken version of French. It's not a corrupt form of French. It's not a patois. It's just a language. Now, in Haiti, there are two official languages, Haitian Creole and French. So although Haiti has two official languages, everyone in Haiti speaks and understands Haitian Creole. Only a small percentage of Haitians speak French fluently. Now the key word here is fluently. Many understand French to some degree or speak it a bit, but not fluently. They're not proficient in the language, meaning that it might be difficult for many Haitians to have a long conversation in French. Okay, so they understand it, they're able to read it, they're able to communicate to some degree, but having a long conversation in French might be difficult. It is said that approximately 90% of the population is monolingual, meaning speaking only Haitian Creole. This means that approximately 10% speak French fluently. And those folks tend to be the ones that are highly educated or are considered to be part of the elite class. Okay? So again, we want to stress that all Haitians speak Creole. A small percentage of Haitians speak French fluently. Haiti has a unique situation due to the coexistence of two languages in a single location. One of the official languages is a high language, while the other is designated as a low language. Let us explain what we mean by that. 
So in Haiti, French is mostly used in professional settings like government and other formal domains like banking, professional events, and meetings. It is also used in the school setting. Official documents are also in French. Haitian Creole is a language used in informal interaction and day-to-day -day community events, such as going to the market, church, and certain aspects of school. It is also the language in which most Haitian music and other cultural expressions are formed. Many disagree with the setup and indicate that Creole, Haitian Creole, the language spoken and understood by all, a mother tongue should be the language used in all settings, while others feel it should remain as is. I must add that nowadays, Creole, Haitian Creole, is being mixed in some professional meetings and so forth. Another outcome of having two languages spoken in Haiti is called code switching. So even the Haitians that speak fluent French tend to code switch. What do we mean by code switching? Code switching is the alternate use of two or more languages within the same speech event. Basically, within one conversation, a person switch from one language to the next. So they might start the sentence in French or they might start the conversation in French and end up throwing in some Creole words in there and going back to French and then throwing some Creole words. So that, that's what we mean by code switching. In fact, Haitians do this so much that even Haitians living in the United States do a lot of code switching between Creole, Haitian Creole, and English. I want to assume that this is the case for Haitians living in countries where the official language is Spanish as well, okay? Now, if you're wondering how Haitian Creole came about, check out a video on the history of Haitian Creole. The link is available in the description. So take a minute and check that out. So let's go back to our original question. Is there more than one version of Haitian Creole? There are different versions of English. The British English versus the American English versus the English spoken in Australia and elsewhere. There is some difference in there. There are different versions of Spanish within Latin America, Spain, or within any other Spanish-speaking parts of the world, including in the U.S., okay? Within the United States, you can hear the different versions or different ways people speak American English. And it's often based on what part of the country the person grew up or reside in. It is even possible that within one city to find different dialects or different ways people pronounce certain words and so forth. So to answer this question, yes, there are different versions of the Haitian Creole. This seems to be the case with all languages. Haitian Creole differs by region. It is said that there are at least three dialects of the Haitian Creole, namely the Northern dialect, the Central dialect, and the Southern dialect. In fact, some argue that there are five dialects of Haitian Creole, the Creole of Port-au-Prince, which is the capital, has been selected as the model for the standard. It is said that the dialects in the capital have more features in common with French. All right, so we're not linguists, okay? Based on our experience, we know that Haitian Creole in the North sounds a little bit different from that of Haitian Creole in Port-au-Prince or the South of Haiti. So we notice some basic stuff, things that are more at the surface level. Based on our research, we didn't find a lot of information on it. So we would like to learn more and we encourage you to share your knowledge in the comment below. Okay. Also, we've noticed that Haitians from the North compared those from Port-au-Prince and the South has a different accent. A few of the words are different that we are aware of. So for example, folks from Port-au-Prince will use the word coke like to say to hang, but in the North, it means to be intimate in a romantic sense. In addition, some Norton residents refers to a cup as a tebal, and Port-au-Prince residents call it godi, right? 
So these are the differences we've noticed. We encourage you to let us know additional differences you're aware of. So thank you in advance for sharing your knowledge with us. We hope that if you are not aware that folks from the North spoke Haitian Creole a little bit differently, that you learned something from watching this video. If you like this video, please click the like button so others might get the opportunity to view it as well. If you have not subscribed, we ask that you please consider subscribing. Please follow us on social media at Color My Culture, Color My Culture 4. Check us out on Amazon or Etsy by searching for Color My Culture. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Until next time, bye-bye.